Anything else for the cleaners, Ted? Be right with you, honey. Okay, Vicky. Do your thing. Do my thing. <laughs> I did it. She's the world's first electronic flycatcher. I hope the neighbor's canary doesn't get out. <laughs> Put it in here, Vicky. Was it good or will we get a phone call? No, this is good. I hope that doesn't mean you did something bad but didn't get caught. <laughs> no, honest, Dad. See, we have to do a project for school in our social studies class about people in other lands and how we should be friends even if they're different. I think that's a very worthwhile thing to teach kids. Yes, now if the kids could just teach it to the grown-ups. <laughs> My friend Reggie and I are going to make a movie about making friends with somebody from another planet. That is, if we can use your camera and stuff, Dad. Oh, I'm sure he wouldn't mind, would you, Ted? Well, not at all. It's, it's a good idea. It's, it's really far out. <laughs> far out. <laughs> Me and Reggie will be two astronauts who discover the planet's all robots. Vicky can play one of them. Vicky play a robot. That's cute. That's cute. Jamie, I'm not so sure about Vicky being in it. But they'd never guess what she really is. A robot acting like a little girl acting like a robot? <laughs> well, I guess I did invent Vicky to see how human she could become. So I guess part of her programming should be playing with other children. All right. Thanks, Dad. Thanks, Dad. You hear that, Vicky? You're going to be a movie star. And I'll have to show you how to act. How to act. That means to show different emotions, like being happy. <laughs> or sad. <laughs> Got it? Got it. I'm going to direct the movie. Who knows? I may be another Steven Spielberg. Oh, Steven Spielberg. Aren't we getting a little carried away? Not at all. He's not much older than I am. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably Reggie. I asked him to meet me here after school. Hi, Reggie. Hi. 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 This is my mom. Oh, Hi. Nice to and my dad. How you doing, Reg? Hi. Hi. And my cousin, Vicky. Hi. Hi, Reggie. <laughs> uh, this is my best friend, Reggie. <laughs> my dad said it's okay to use his camera and stuff. That's great. You were right. He's a pushover. <laughs> Here to make the sets and costumes. Oh, great. Who's that? Your mom. Now, wait a minute. Wait. Uh... Don't thank us. We're glad to make you a part of it. Come on, Reggie. <sighs> Volunteer. We were drafted. Drafted? We were railroaded. <laughs> well, at least our offspring here is going to be a movie star. Huh? Movie star. Happy. <laughs> Sad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Reggie. Got an idea for the script. Here's the scene. Write this down. Well, I had an idea, too. How about Please, if I can... not while I'm thinking. <laughs> now, we're a couple of astronauts who land on a faraway planet, right? Right. But I thought that it Hold would be Hold just... that thought. <laughs> now, Vicky's one of the alien robots who lives on the planet. We'll call her, uh... Ixiv. Ixiv? Ixiv. That's Vicky spelled backwards. <laughs> How many robots should we have on the planet? Mm, just one. We got a very small budget. <laughs> How am I supposed to be creative with only one robot? I was counting on a cast of thousands. <laughs> hey, man, you're getting more space out than this movie. <laughs> what do you want, Vicky? Your mother said she'd give this to you. <laughs> what do you do that for? Oh, she's always clowning around. Right, Vicky? Right, Vicky.
<laughs> What's she doing? Oh, uh, uh, she's practicing being a robot. Uh, the cabinet's like a rocket ship, see? Oh, okay. Yeah, let's get back to the script. Now, we just landed on this distant planet, and we're the first Earthmen ever to land there. How do we show that in a movie? Simple. I step out of the rocket ship, I say, we're the first Earthmen ever to land here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then what do I say? Nothing. You're still inside the rocket ship. And then I plant a flag in the ground, and I say, I claim this territory on behalf of the fifth grade of Washington Elementary School. <laughs> and then do I come out of the rocket ship? Not yet. <laughs> you know, there's something missing in this movie. Me. <laughs> Don't worry. You're going to be in it. You're a co-star, like Vicky. And she's not complaining. Are you, Vicky? I'm not complaining. See? Boy, she is kind of like a robot. Just standing there and staring. And she talks funny, too. Oh, uh, that's method acting. <laughs> She's supposed to stay in the character of a robot till the movie's finished. Well, she has to go to the bathroom. I'm not programmed to go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> we better make this movie quick. <laughs> there. Vicky, please take this dish to my mom and thank her for the cookies. Thank her for the cookies. If you ask me, she's overdoing it. No real <laughs> robot would talk like that. <laughs> Boy, you gotta get up early to fool you, Reggie. <laughs> okay, let's finish the script. Now, I just landed on this distant planet and became a national hero. Let me guess. I'm still inside the rocket ship. <laughs> right. <laughs> now, we'll call the planet, uh, Noswall. Nas what? Noswall. That's Lawson spelled backwards. <laughs> I should have known. Now get this, Reggie, because it's really what my movie's all about, how the astronaut and the robot learn to be friends. What do you mean your movie? I thought this was our movie, and we're 50-50 partners. We are 50-50 partners. Only my 50's in charge. <laughs> <laughs> this is a fair. You won't listen to my ideas. You're writing, directing, and starring in it, and I never get out of the rocket ship. Yes, you do. You're getting out of it. When? When I go back to Earth for the big heroes parade down Broadway and leave you on a planet to die. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, I got practically nothing to do in this movie. Are you kidding? You've got the most important job of all. What's that? If we need money, you'll raise it. <laughs> Hi, Dad. Oh, hi, Mr. Director. How do you like all the props, huh? Is this the best you can do, Dad? <laughs> I mean, the kids in class aren't going to believe these are rocks on an alien planet. Why not? I mean, how many alien planets have they been to? <laughs> <clears throat> What's this for, Dad? Oh, this is great, huh? You see, the blue represents the universe, and the white dots are the stars. And if you stand in front of it like this, looks like you're way out in space, huh? What do you think? We're in big trouble. <laughs> Gee, I, I thought it was pretty clever. Well, a little have to do for now. But could you put some more stars on it? And could you hurry it up a little, please? Well, you know, when you think of how long it took to create the universe, I think I'm going pretty fast. <laughs> and, and by the by, two can paint faster than one, you know. I'd like to, Dad, but I'm the director, see? I'm even dressed sloppy like Steven Spielberg. <laughs> Well, why don't you direct yourself to a paint can and grab a brush, huh? Hi, Jamie. Hi, Harriet. What are you doing? I'm making a movie. Can't you tell what famous person I am? No. <laughs> I'll give you a hint. The movie E.T.? Oh, I get it. But you're not as cute as E.T. <laughs> Thanks. Can I be in your movie? No, it's science fiction, not a horror film. <laughs> well, then can I watch? Sure. Go home and wait for it to be on television. Don't call us. We'll call you. <laughs> of course you can watch, Harriet, but you have to be quiet. I don't 
think that's possible. <laughs> but thanks anyway. <clears throat> Jamie, would you help me with this rocket ship, please? Dad, directors can't do props. It's against union rules. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Spielberg. I'm new at this, not an old veteran like you. Here's Vicky. <laughs> Doesn't she look adorable? She looks terrific. Mm -hmm. She's a perfect robot. I'm a perfect robot. <laughs> oh, and the costumes for you and Reggie are finished too, honey. Mom, does her dress have to be that short? I mean, she doesn't have the greatest legs. <laughs> well, they'll do for outer space. Now, Jamie, if you want the rocket ship in place, we're gonna have to move this, and we're gonna have to move the clubhouse. Move the clubhouse? Uh, no, 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 Vicky, put it down. Uh, it's a good thing you didn't say move the car. Move the car. No, no, Vicky, it's... Hi, everybody. Oh, hi, Reg. Oh, hi, Reg. Where have you been? In showbiz, time is money. When you waste time, you waste money. <laughs> How am I gonna waste money? We don't have any. <laughs> because you're not doing your job raising it. Jamie, where do you want this? Over there, Dad. <laughs> Don't go stand here. We'll move rocks around. <laughs> this is supposed to be an alien planet. How's that, Steve, baby? <laughs> <laughs> no good. It still looks like my backyard. It is your backyard. <laughs> I think our director's head is getting too big for his baseball cap. Come on, Reggie. Move some of these rocks around. You want to move? Move it yourself. I'm supposed to be your partner, not your flunky. He's right, son. Dad, don't think of me as your son, but as a director. <laughs> <laughs> We're supposed to be doing this project together, Jamie, but you want to run the whole show yourself. I think that's unfair, Jamie. Me too. Me three. <laughs> oh, you're all on his side. Well, if nobody likes the way I'm doing it, I guess I'll just have to quit. Everybody hear that? I quit. Oh, great. There goes our class project. I'm not so sure, Reggie. Just hang in there. What do you have in mind, honey? We're going to teach Mr. Spielberg Jr. a little lesson. Our director's head has gotten too big for his baseball cap. <laughs> uh. Mind if we come in? Don't you think you were a little hard on Reggie just now? It would be nice if you apologized to him. He is your best friend. Was my best friend. It's his fault the project's off. He wouldn't listen to me, and I'm the director. Our director's head is too big for his baseball cap. <laughs> Who asked you? Jamie, being a director is one thing. Being a dictator is another. I'm not a dictator. Everything would be great if Reggie would do what I order him to. <laughs> Are you sure you won't change your mind about quitting? No way. As far as I'm concerned, the movie's off. Not quite. What do you mean, not quite? I quit. And we accept, but the movie's not off. How are you gonna make a movie without Spielberg? <laughs> Easy. Oh, we've still got us, Reggie, the sets, the costumes, and Vicky. I'm a perfect robot. <laughs> and most important, it's Reggie's class project, too. We'll help him make the movie without you. Then what am I gonna do for a class project? Well, you might consider writing an essay on the rise and fall of Spielberg, Jr. <laughs> okay, go ahead and make your movie, Dad. Oh, Jamie, don't think of me as Dad. Think of me as the producer. Don't call us, we'll call you. <laughs> Okay, Reggie, move just a little bit more to your left. That's perfect. I think we're ready to shoot this first scene. Okay. Uh, t tell us what you want us to do, Mr. Director. 
Well, I come out of the rocket ship and no, then wait, wait, I just... wait, wait, Reggie. A director can't work without his megaphone. Hey, that's mine! Quiet on the set! <laughs> you mean it was yours, Jamie? Now, wait a minute. Quiet on the set! <laughs> if you want to stay, Jamie, you can't talk. I can't act by one. It's my yard. But it's Reggie's planet. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on. Can I do something in the movie? Well, that's up to Reggie. What do you say, Reggie? Well, I don't know. Let's have a little conference and decide. Have a little conference and decide. Yeah! <clears throat> Just a minute. <laughs> Okay, what do you say? All right. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, we've decided. What? You could be in the movie. All right, I'll be the director. No, I'm the director. The producer? I'm the producer. The star? I'm the star. <laughs> and I'm the sound engineer, prop man, wardrobe lady, and sloppy joe maker. <laughs> then what's left for me to do? Well, Jamie, you know that, that little animal that crawls under the ground and comes up and makes all the holes in our lawn? You mean gopher? Right, you got it. <laughs> now, you see that boulder over there? Yeah. Well, go for it and move it to the right. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then you can go for my sewing kit in the house and bring it out to me. This isn't fair. It's embarrassing to go from a big Hollywood director to a gopher in just one day. <laughs> you want to be in this movie or not? Yeah, but the movie was all my idea, wasn't it, Reggie? Well, I guess so. I should at least have a part in it. Come on, give me a part. Let's have another conference. <laughs> okay, ready, break. <laughs> we decided you can have a part in the movie. All right, thanks. What part? Well, you and Reggie are gonna play the astronauts. I'll go for that. <laughs> Shouldn't I change into my astronaut suit? Well, it's not necessary. All you have to do is come through that door, put your foot on that rock, and say, I have landed. Okay. I have landed. Okay. Hold it right there. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm getting a close-up of your foot. <laughs> what about my face? Oh, we don't need your face, just your foot. <laughs> okay, now, shake hands with Vicky. Shake hands with Vicky. Hold it right there. Got it. Now what are you doing, Dad? Well, you said you wanted a part in the movie, so I'm putting parts of you in the movie. <laughs> and a foot, maybe even a kneecap. <laughs> Come on, can I have a big part? Well, you can show us head. That's big. <laughs> an important part. Well, if you want an important part, I think we have just the thing, right, Ted? We sure do. Turn around and bend over. <laughs> what for? Well, for your important part in the movie. We can't make the movie without this part. <laughs> get it. You're all treating me the way I treated Reggie and the rest of you. Bingo. Bingo. <laughs> I think a little apology's in order, Jamie. I guess so. I'm sorry, everybody. I acted like a real selfish jerk, Reggie. I can't argue with that. <laughs> I don't deserve to be in a movie about friends after the way I treated all of you. Well, Jamie, you can't have everything in life your way. You've got to share. I know. You go ahead and make the movie. You're probably a better director than I am anyway. Jamie? Yeah? No way I'm gonna make this movie without my best friend. Here, Miss Spielberg. Oh. Thanks, Reggie. You've got a lot of class. Yes, I have. <laughs> but how about both of us directing it? That'll be great. What are we standing here for? We're wasting time. Time is money. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hi, Harriet. 
I changed my mind, and I would like to watch. I'll try and be quiet, okay? Oh, well, that's fine, Harriet. Why don't you just go and sit over there? Any chance of being your dumb movie, Jamie? <laughs> Come to think of it, Harriet, there's a great part for you. Really? What do I do? Turn around and bend over. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie? Just a thought, Dad. Just a thought. Small wonder. 